Uh, guys, look, sweatshirt. Weather in August. It is fantastic outside. Are you guys ready to meet Peter Parker? He was super mad at me when I got home just a minute ago. I already let him out, so it's rained today, and we're gonna try to be quiet. Don't, he's already gone out, which is amazing. The girls are still super mean to him, so he hangs out. I don't know where he is. I'm hoping he's with all his other goat friends. We're going to pick up some of this water. So he's been in this kennel all day. It's Wednesday. He's been with us since Sunday, but it rained today and I did not want the girls to chase him out of here and him not have a place to be out of the rain or a dry place to lay down. So he's out here. He's pretty far out here, big man. I'm so excited for you guys to meet him. Hi, Nani. Uh, they have been inside most of the day. He's way out here, which is a great sign. This one's avoiding her responsibilities. Come here, bud. Are you avoiding responsibilities, Nani? Yes, responsibilities are named Chai, and they're out there. <gasps> Hi, bud! Hi, Parker! What are you doing? Are you happy to be outside? Hmm? Ooh, got a bug. Eat some grass? So this is Peter Parker. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're so dirty. Why are you so dirty? Did you miss mom while she was at work? Let's not eat mom's hair. Are you gonna be a hair eater? Are you hungry? You're not gonna be, are you hiding? He's a little scared. Cause Nani's come over. Oh, no Nani, no Nani. So all the girls just came up. Mom is not gonna let them get you. She's not gonna let them get you. Hi. I know Tinkerbell's been the worst. Mm, thanks, Silly. Silly just walked up and decided to pee. We're being sweet. Good girl, Zelly. See? Just wanted to see what was going on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. This has got to stop. We are still nursing. And Nani is like, not remotely trying to wean this nugget. Nugget, we can't. Okay, I'm going to put my hair up. We can't keep nursing, Nuggy. Parker, where are you going, bud? Nuggie. You need a collar, Nugs. You do. Hmm? My pretty girl. When's, like I said, it's Wednesday. He's been here for three days since Sunday afternoon. I didn't film when he got here because that was hard on his mom. And I, that was only the second time I had ever met her. So I wanted her to like have all the time that she wanted with them and to feel very confident about what we do here without me like having a camera in her face. They were trying to be respectful, weren't we, Chai? He says, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna eat your clothes. Can you be nice to Parker? So his name is Peter Parker, like Spider-Man. His mom just called him Parker. So that's what we're gonna call him. Parker or Parky Park is kind of what I've been calling him. He had a little bandana, but I had to take it off because it really freaked the girls out. He's a weather. He is about a month younger than Chai. And because he was in and out so much, he still kind of has his furry winter coat. So we are worming, treating for coccidia, just as a precaution. His color looks good, but he's just been in a different environment. I would like for him to put on a little bit of weight but he's got to learn to eat more like grass and stuff to do that. She had him on hay and goat feed, which is great considering that he was just a yard goat and, not on, and there wasn't pasture. So that was great. He's doing really well eating pasture. He's probably gonna take a while to gain some weight just cause he's been stressed by the new environment. Aren't you my tweet man? So he was a bottle baby and he's never been around other goats until now. Hi, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, 
Are you playing? Hmm. Is it playtime? So he's learning to goat. He's doing really well at learning when these guys are out, he should be out. When they're up, he should come up. He follows them around, but this is basically keeping our distance. For three days in, he's doing very well. I'm very impressed with Mr. Parky Park. What I typically do is pin him up at night and then I put him out in the pasture in the morning and I just kind of get him out so that they don't beat him up. He has some breakfast, kind of like chai chai. They've been pretty spicy. You have been, you've not been nice. Even Chai has kind of wanted to assert her dominance over him pretty regularly. I was hoping that she would be really excited about it. She's very curious, but they still have to kind of work out all the herd dynamics. But what he's kind of learning to do is stay on the perimeter, stay with them, but like give everybody some space. There are multiple ways that we could have done this. I could have quarantined him. So I could have kept him in that pen for like a week or two, flushed all the worms out of his system. A lot of people would have not put a baby goat immediately into a herd of all older goats. Our other option would have been to like maybe pull him and chai by themselves and then we may still do that. What I really want for him though is he needs to learn to be a goat and he really needs all of these older goats to teach him. Because he was a runt, his mom rejected him, so he was bottle fed. So he's just not ever really been around older goats that can teach him what it is to be a goat. So I took a risk in putting him out here directly with them and that this would be not the best situation. I know my girls and my hope is that after a week or so, they basically would just ignore him. They still will fight Chai over a sleeping space and that's gonna happen until she's bigger. She does get some protection from her mom, but honestly not a ton. And you can see she's over here with Poppy up on the stump being fine. She's getting bigger, she's getting stronger. Eventually she'll be the same size as Poppy or bigger and it won't be this constant bickering. He's very small because of his background, not because he wasn't well taken care of, but just because he's smaller. He's half Nigerian, half fainting goat, we think. So he's just gonna be body structure a little bit different. I want him to be part of a herd. I don't want him to be in a top pen with one other goat by himself. I want him to be part of a herd. If this becomes unsafe for him, we will redirect, guys. You know me, I'm always gonna do best for him, for all of my girls. It's not an option, so, but we'll see. If Chai continues, I, I was hoping that Nani was drying off and not nursing Chai as often, but she's not even trying to wean her at this point. So there may become a point where we put them in that top pasture together, wean her, let Nani dry off, let them really bond. What do you think, Parky Park? Guys, it's been so long since I've had a bottle baby. Forget how nibbly and clingy they are. So when I got home, I let him out of his stall because he's been in there all day and it's really just kind of cleared up in the last hour, enough for them to even go outside. And he was ready, like he ran out of the barn the minute that I let him out to be with the other goats. Such good progress for like three days into living here. Yesterday, or Monday when I came home from work, I came out and like the girls literally just chased him in a circle. Like I couldn't get close to him. This one is the one that like, tinker. I love for them to bond and be friends. What have you been eating? Like your whole nose is dirty. But she's been one to like, want to be the boss babe in the situation. So he's pretty afraid of her. Isn't he? Are you stinker? Are you mama's girl? Are you mama's girl? Mm hmm. Mm, tinker bell. Mm. We we're hoping that maybe this little serendipitous adventure will create a buddy for Tink in all of this. Since our Tinker Bell lost her mama. That this will be kind of a natural um, mate, like a friend, a buddy that she can graze with and hang out with since she doesn't have a mama goat. And since pretty much everybody on our farm 
hangs out with their mama goat, that this would give her somebody else that doesn't have a mama goat that she could spend time with. Twiz is like crawling on my back. Hi, big girl. That's my hope. My hope for them is to kind of figure that out when he gets a little bit bigger. What about you? Did you like some stuff? Were you waiting your turn? Were you just waiting your turn like the sweetest boy that you are? Are you the sweetest boy? We love our Link. Link and Zelda aren't particularly bonded, but he lived with Bucks. Zelda's kind of, doesn't really care to have a buddy. We've talked about that before. But my hope is that for Tink, who really loved her mama and loved to be with her mama, that maybe this will be a new playmate. This will also put another goat about the same age as Chai, so that as our goats are aging out and leaving us, when they pass away, be very sad. Mom forgets how old you are. That she will have a goat about her same age as well. Our plan is just to keep him as a pet here on our farm. His mom just really wanted a place for him to go that she could still see him, she could still visit him, she could still keep up with him that was close. She moved here from like just south of Washington DC in Virginia this summer to work at one of the schools. She's fantastic and she just really wanted to do the right thing for him and I think that this overall, we're just really glad that we could be that for him. Is it you? Are we gonna stink? They kinda. Would you like some scratches too? I'm gonna give you scratches too, yeah. I know, you're so good. You're so good, that's the best scratches. Okay, I don't, you guys cannot see this, but like what is going on over here? Daisy uh, could not get her big butt up there and that was about the funniest thing I've ever seen. I know, Nons. I know, mom pet you. Okay, I have goats in my face. I have goats in my face. They're about to knock me over and the grass is wet. So mom doesn't need a boat butt. Say no boat butt for mom. But we love you mom. Please scratch us. This is my favorite thing. She loves to be scratched. And then I got these fools over here. You're okay. What are you doing? This is being ridiculous. you. Good morning. We're supposed to be here to do the electrical work today. Full day at work today. The kids are back this week so it's been of course a little bit more chaotic than last week where all we do is sit in meetings. Well good morning. Yeah good morning Peter Parker. He already has food in his bowl but we'll give him a little bit of his old food so this is what his mom was feeding him so we've been mixing it in with our feed. All right, mom has to go to work. Are you guys ready for breakfast? Okay, we're ready, mom. Ready to go.
he's having his breakfast. Just sprinkled a little bit of that goat feed on top. Pork chop got out in the backyard last night because I apparently had left this gate just unchained all day yesterday. It was so funny. The dog started like going crazy and Duke's afraid of the pigs now after Tini attacked him. He was like going nuts and he was barking and pork chop was like under the deck. I could hear the rock moving around. I was like, what is that? This pig. And if you follow my Instagram, you saw that he made it all the way to the gate and took a right turn. It's like, no, mom, I'm not, I'm not going back in. Not without some treats. You know, open the gate for me, Tunes. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah. Well, let's go. The grass is long. Mom would love if you guys would just walk beside me. There you go. It's muddy. Don't know why that was necessary. Here we go. today. Are you gonna come with me? In the mornings he, he didn't really want to come all the way out here. The grass is pretty wet so 